Byte for Byte, JavaScript is probably the most expensive resource you're shipping down to your users today. And I'd like to explain why I feel like that. So the median web page today is currently shipping down about 350 kilobytes of minified and compressed JavaScript. Uncompressed, that bloats up to about a megabyte of script. Now, the experiences that are shipping down this much JavaScript are taking anywhere between 15 to 36 seconds to get interactive on mobile devices. Now, although I've said 30, uh, 350 kilobytes here, the reality is that if we take a look at popular sites, they're actually shipping down a lot more script than this. We're hitting this ceiling across both desktop and mobile web, where sites are often shipping multiple megabytes worth of code that a browser then needs to process. Now, the impact that this can have on loading a web page is some weird and wonderful quirks. So the way that we take a look at loading a web page today is that it's a little bit of a journey. It's kind of like a film strip that has three key moments in it. There's, is it happening? Is it useful? And is it usable? Is it happening is the moment where you're able to deliver some painted content to the screen so the user can actually tell, well, hey, this web page is loading up. Is it useful is the point where you've painted contentful text or something that allows the user to derive value from the experience. And then is it usable is the moment when a user can actually start tapping around the experience and having something happening. So I mentioned this term interactive earlier, but what does that actually mean? Well, for a page to be interactive, it has to be capable of responding quickly to user input. Whether a user is clicking on a link or scrolling through a page, they need to be able to see that something's actually happening in response to those taps and those actions that they're making. An experience that isn't able to deliver on this is going to frustrate your users. Now, one place where this can commonly happen is when folks are server-side rendering their experiences and then shipping a whole bundle of JavaScript down right after to populate and hydrate that experience out. Now, when a browser needs to run many of the events that you're probably going to need, it's probably going to do it on the same thread that handles user input. Now, that thread is called the main thread or the UI thread. If you happen to be shipping down lots of expensive JavaScript, that can end up blocking the main thread. So let's take a look at what you expect will probably happen. So here's an example where, you know, maybe you're going to go and tap around the UI. You might check a checkbox or click a link, and everything's going to work perfectly fine. But if we simulate blocking the main thread, nothing's able to happen at the moment. We're not able to check that checkbox. Any links that we click are not necessarily going to do what we expect because we're blocking that thread. So we want to start moving away from doing those types of things. Now, this idea of JavaScript impacting interactivity is something we're seeing across lots of different types of sites. Too much JavaScript in general can actually delay interactivity for visible elements, and this is a problem for many sites, including Google. So we run into this in uh, sites like Google Search. So here are a few examples where you, know, you could start tapping around the UI, but if we're shipping too much JavaScript down, there could be some delay in there before something actually happens, um, and the user may end up feeling a little bit frustrated.